Are you behaving? Get it? Get it? That's the name of that one. That's the name of the level. That's what they call that level. It's called behaving. Is this seriously the shit I have to work with? What? Near the game. Yes. To both. <laughs> Alright, let's get this shit started. Welcome back, everybody, to Purple Tunic! <laughs> what we're doing? Crash Bandicoot 2. Got a question for you. What's that? Are you concerned about 2017? No. You should be. Why? I want you to add up all of the numbers in 2017. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 7. What do you get? 10. Yeah. Did you know that 10 is the number of nipples that Hitler would have if he had 8 more nipples? You should be very concerned about 2017. That is that is a uh, that is a uh, scary fact actually. Yeah, terrifying. Almost as terrifying as uh, bees. Although we found out we can kill the bees. Oh no, these are herds of bees. I don't think you can kill these ones. Can I kill this? The nest? Try it. No, no you can only swirl it around a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure how the uh, the killing of multiple bees. Is oh yeah, this is uh, they're bigger. There's more of them. Yeah. Not bigger. No, the the beehive is bigger. Oh yes. If I touch these, I think I... you'll die. Yes, I will because I knocked. I break those. Now you gotta get up and then get over that and get back down. You gotta you know, get up to get down. Yep, yeah, yep. Hey, that's where we're gonna be. Uh, what we're gonna be doing here in a couple months. Uh, getting up to get down. Yeah, because we're gonna be at the. Whoa, uh, that guy's fucking on drugs. We're gonna be at, at Matsuri Con. That's less than a month. That's this month. Yeah, fuck you, bees. That didn't work. Yes, it did. You lost a dude. Oh. It's because there's so many of them. So I guess in theory you could kill it, but... I... Oh, that was nice. But no, I say that because we're staying at the Hyatt, and, and if anyone has ever stayed at the Hyatt for a convention of any sorts, you gotta get up. You gotta go ups to get down. Because those elevators... Ups. Those elevators are fucking terrible because everyone's fucking trying to get up to get down. Yes. Or everyone's trying to go down or get upstairs and it's like, nope, nope. Fuck you, Chongo. That's not Chongo. Yeah, it is. That's that's Bongo, his twin brother. What? what? Oh, you got hit, touched by a seed mildly. <laughs> you know what happens when you get touched by the seed? Very mildly. Mildly, not mildly. Mildly. Mildly like, Cyrus. Like the, like the Midas touch? No, like the Mightle Lee Cyrus touch. I don't think I'd want her touching me. I feel like she probably has something. She's got the Disney. She's got the Disney more. She's insane. I know. And I'm just afraid that she might have some sort of disease. You know what I'm saying? You know what else has diseases? What? Uh, rodents. Birds carry disease. Do you know what else has diseases? Hitler? Hospitals. Yes, they do. That's where people go to have diseases. <laughs> they go to have the disease. Like, I would really like one disease, please. That rhymes. What, disease, please? Yes. Disease, you, please. Do you, you think you can prove that in a court of law? You know who likes disease? Who? Papa Nurgle. What? Yeah, Papa Nurgle. Who the fuck? What are you talking about? Papa, Papa Nurgle, he loves you. And I was underground, but I still get hit. Well, yeah, because he mounted you. Yeah. He's playing whack-a-mole. But yeah, Papa Nurgle, he loves you just the way you are, Mott. Well, I have mixed emotions about him because I don't know who he is well, and why does he love me. He's the chaos god of of uh, decay and disease. Yeah? And he likes everything just to kind of stay the way it is because, you know, and he, he thinks you're you great. You might want to get underground. He thinks you're great just the way you are. Okay. Weird. Papa Nurgle's the, one of the better chaos gods. Better than, uh. Better than John Cena? He's a chaos god, right? Actually, that's a good point. John Cena is a chaos god. He's also, a chaos... he's, he's, uh. But no one can see Yeah, he's transparent. He's... Yeah. <laughs> what chaos, god, chaos god of transparency. And, hus and the hustle. Like from the 70s, the hustle? I don't know. That's that's John Cena's thing, though. The hustle. Did none of those a thing. Yeah, he, he did. Is. 
Hustle Main Hustle Hustle Nation or something like that. Oh, so not know. not the hustle like the song. Yeah. yeah. Discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrus. Who? The inventor of the Evolvo ray. Oh, not that. Oh, yeah, that that's the ray that made Crash what the horrible freak that he is apparently. Really? Yeah, I guess. Where he's insane or a where he's uh, an anthropomorphic uh, bandicoot, like he's not just a regular bandicoot. So we're that actually gave him knowledge. Um, it's about as much knowledge as you can give Crash Bandicoot. And it bas so basically, some guy wanted furries to be real, and he did it. But it be all that came out was Crash. Yes. Okay. But actually, in the first game, there was a Crash's girlfriend who was um, disturbing. They had very large boobs. They tried to make her very attractive, but it was still an animal. And it was also PlayStation One. Yes. So, it looks... The bo boobs look terrible on PlayStation 1. If you've ever played Final Fantasy, you know those are some pointy bits. Well, it can't be any worse than, uh... Watch out for those pointy bits, yeah! <laughs> can't be any worse than Dead or Alive Extreme 2. The fuck is that? Who? What? This, I don't understand this. This is Engine. He works for Cortex, who you're already helping! Oh, I'm throwing apples at him. Yay, it's like a shooter. They're not apples, they're like palpoo fruits or whatever. But I need Or these. wampa fruit, they're wampa fruit. Palpoo fruits, I think. Like oh! Okay, okay, I see, I see how you're doing it. Fucking twit. My god, there's not even an animation for it, it's just... Well, yeah, because it's a weird mechanic, it's only in this one boss, and that's it. Now I'm pooping, I'm just gonna poop him out. Not working for you. Oh, I can only jump. I can't. Uh... What now? I can't duck. You can't duck. No. You can do your normal duck. Nope. It won't let me duck. That's weird. All the butt. Look. See. Eh, 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 eh. Huh. I guess they couldn't handle those. Uh, that many commands. It's just in this one. Yeah. This one boss fight. Think you'll beat there him? Think you'll do it? Maybe. Well, I got one of his guns. Great. Oh, this guy take, has five hits. Yep. It's gonna take a while. Look out. A laser of sorts. Lasers! Oh, the next four. you gotta take out his crazy shoulders or some bullshit. Yeah. Well, it says 04 and 02. Can I hit him already? What do you want, dude? Go away. There we go. Watch out, he's got missiles. Uh, okay. I was about to say, it's like, well, so what are they doing? They're, they're being missiles. Stop flashing me, you pervert! <laughs> That's how he gets his rocks off. Okay, now this is getting like, this is gonna be a while, because this thing does not want to... As long as you can avoid it decently yeah. enough, you know? I think it just goes like from one side to the other. Would be better if you just stood in one spot and let him come to you. A little bit. Alright, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Harambe. Did he just try to flick you off when he doesn't have a hand? I think so. Oh god, look out. That was, it's gonna come from the side. Tricking me up, are you? Well, yeah, now he doesn't have as many rockets, so he has to use them wisely. Shit! Ah! Now you see the trick there is to not be hit by the rocket. Don't tell me I gotta do all of, of it. Of course you have to do all of it over again. Oh, uh, you turtleneck looking motherfucker. You turtleneck looking motherfucker? Yes. I don't think he wears turtlenecks. Maybe when he goes on fancy dinner dates. Dinner dates? I'm sick of the same fucking thing. It was like dinner dates. Not romantic dates, just dinner dates. Like, he makes plans with his friends to go on yeah. dinner dates. Maybe we've got, yeah, to, I'll get maybe you got the next Red time. Lobster. The fanciest of things oh, that yeah. he can afford. Actually, Red Lobster's pretty good. Oh, they suck. I, I used to love Red Lobster, and their quality's gone downhill. I heard that they, um, they... I think it's Red Lobster that did this, but I think, uh, they stopped accepting tips... And they really? just, they just uh, updated, um, they made stuff cost just like a little bit more, and they just paid their employees a little bit better. Oh, nice. If only I, they could have better food. Yeah. They're turning into like, 
Oh, Applebee's dirt. quality of seafood. I fucking hate Applebee's. They, Applebee's is awful. I think we've discussed this multiple times. Yeah. Applebee's does suck. Unless they want to sponsor us, then I love Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way that their food definitely is a microwave meal that they put in the microwave and then brought to me. And then I didn't have to push the buttons. No, that's Cheesecake like, that's... Factory. I will never eat a Cheesecake Factory. I like Cheesecake Factory. I hate Cheesecake Factory. I had one thing from there that's like after waiting like an hour to get a seat. Um... Was it the cheesecake? No. Did you even eat the cheesecake? I don't think so. Well, then, you gotta go eat the cheesecake. It's in their name. It's like going to Spaghetti Warehouse and not getting <laughs> crates full of spaghetti. <laughs> getting crates full of spaghetti. But like I had this, these like these like Cajun chicken bites that sounded really good. Um, they basically tasted like Burger King. Well, good. Burger King's delicious. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm spending, I don't know how you survive that. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, so, no. It's gonna be something fucking weird. Look out! You fucking twit twat! Alright, now you know. Beams are bad. I gotta do this all over again. Yep. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, but if you're gonna spend. If I'm gonna spend. If I want Burger King, I will go to Burger King and spend $4. You know? On a meal. Well, not the, fit, not like $20 on. Didn't you read the fine print? It that says. Fuck. Cheesecake Factory. Most of our stuff here is good, except for our che Cajun chicken bites. It says that right on the menu. You know what else it says? We're gonna have to beat this boss next time. It might say that on the menu. I don't. I don't read the fine print very often. You should read the fine print. You should always read the fine print. Bye, everybody.